Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to talk about masking in Affinity Photo. To get started what we need to do is go up to file and click on new. It doesn't matter which one we open up. And then I'm just going to place in a quick image. I've got one of the cats. I'll just place that in across here. Right. Right. The first one I'm going to show you is the black mask. Now the black mask puts like a layer on top, but any changes we make below that mask, we will not see. For example, if we go to adjustments on HSL and we change the cat's eye color, it changes the whole picture. And that's no good if we only want to affect the cat's eyes. So what we need to do is come down to the mask layer, the one that looks like a Japanese flag. If you hold down Alt and click on it, it gives you a black mask. Now when a black mask, as you can see, it's taken away the HSL, what we've just done. But that's good because it did look pretty shocking. But if we only want the eyes, what we can do is, if you come to the brush tool, you can either get to that by clicking B or coming over and click on the brush tool. If we make sure our stroke color is white and we've got our mask selected, if we paint on the cat itself, on the cat's eyes in white, you can see now that the mask that was applied is only showing his eyes because we painted white on the actual black mask and when you paint white on the black mask it shows the layers underneath what what we've just done and if we were to go to a white mask next I'll get a new image for that Click on, I'll just click open and I'll grab this image of a bolt. Alright, that's what a black mask does, but a white mask is different because a white mask puts a layer on top but it's transparent. So, say we wanted to change the water down here, what we'd need to do is go down to our adjustments go to curves and then if we move it up we affect the whole picture but where a white mask can be different we can close that off and then if we add a mask to that it puts on a white mask but as you can see that it's still changing the whole picture because a white mask you can see below it but for us to only affect that the uh, part of the water at the bottom if we go over to the gradient tool and go from bottom up to about there and change that to black as you can see now we've now blacked out the rest of it up to our gradient so it goes from white to black so it like blends the mask in for example if we just click off that and close the mask. That's what it's like with just the curves adjustment. That's with the mask. If we turn off the curves adjustment, just a judgment, um, that's what it's like without the curves and with the curves. That's how a white mask works. But we could have done it a different way. We could have not done the curves. I'll just wipe off the mask and then the curves and we'll come back to curves again and we'll just add the curves and we could go up like that and then mask it again and it gives us a white mask but instead of doing a gradient to blend it in you can just grab your brush tool make sure we've got black a black stroke and just paint over the rest of it and it does the exact same 
to what it did before but without the gradient I do prefer the gradient way myself but either way will work so we do it without the mask and with the mask and then without the curves and then with the curves it goes to that but because we've still got the mask attached you'll see in the box here but you can just ignore that because the mask won't show through without the curves being selected and that's pretty much what the curves is and the only time you can't apply a mask a black mask is to in the background you can but it's pointless unless you're willing to move what you're masking out into a different window or or you're going to put another layer underneath that because if you use a black mask i'll just show you if we shrink that and say we only want this window selecting now if we hold up now if we just click on the, the mask layer because there's no other background when we click the mask layer we only get that window the reason why you only get that window and everything else is transparent because there's no background below that so when you mask on the background you're wiping out all of the background but it's not all gone because you paint in black and we put on the black mask if we change our colors and then go back to our paintbrush we can paint it back in so the image is still there that's why using the mask is good because you can add extra in if you need to say like you don't mask enough out or you mask too much and then you think oh well, i wish you had that little bit left you can go back and just paint back the parts that you need say like we just want that row of windows we can paint them back in with the paintbrush and that and that's why masks are so important within any type of software and it is one of the most used tools you will probably use in the affinity software if you have enjoyed this video can you please give it a thumbs up and please remember to subscribe and hit the bell button for our next video that we will be uploading soon thank you for watching and i'll see you next time